Shalom, Happy Sabbath, our crow devotional on this Sabbath day is going to talk about the story of Muhammad Hatta and Balisus. For the people of Indonesia, the name Muhammad Hatta is very well known. His story has been written in many history textbooks for children in school, even popular biographies that contain him about his leadership, about his dedication as the proclamator of the Republic of Indonesia and the Vice President of Indonesia at that time. However, perhaps the media did not discuss a very modest side of his life, both before and after serving as Indonesia's first Vice President. Several years after he became Vice President, namely in the 1950s, in Indonesia, there was a high-quality shoe brand called Bali, which he really liked. When Bali shoes and shop location appeared in an advertisement in the newspaper, he immediately cut them out and put them away. At that time, he did not buy it right away because the price was not cheap and there were not enough funds at that time. Unfortunately, until the end of his life, he never bought the shoes. Not because there is no money, but because the money that available he uses it for household needs and even to help relatives who need help. Muhammad Hatta could have thought that he was someone in a high position who had the right to use his money to buy those relatively expensive Bali shoes. But his modest life principle and noble heart made him to choose to use the money for someone else was more in need. What an example of self-denial from one of the great figures of the Indonesian nation. There are two principles of life that we can learn from this story that have also been written in the Bible. First, simplicity, taken from the book of Luke chapter 12 verse 15. The Bible says, And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. Proverbs 15 verse 16 also says, Better is little with the fear of the Lord than with treasure and trouble therewith. Second, care for others. It is taken from the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 3 to 4. The Bible says, Let nothing be done through strife or faint glory, but in loneliness of mind, let each esteem or the better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. May we who claim to be followers of Christ also have the principles of life that have been written in his word and our lives can be witnesses of Christ wherever we are. Happy Sabbath and Jesus bless all of us. Amen.